In this video I'm going to be showing you a really easy way how to draw a green woodpecker which you find in the garden like this. I always see one here every day. So get yourself some plain white paper, a pencil, a pen, an eraser and your choice of colouring pencil. We're going to start off our green woodpecker by drawing a line down the centre of the page. Now this doesn't have to be straight, this is just where the tree is that it's perching on. There we go. Draw very lightly in pencil because we're going to be erasing these lines. Now we're going to be drawing an oval shape. This is going to be the body of the woodpecker, so it kind of like crosses this line that we did before. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, mine is far from perfect, so just do the best that you can. We're going to be erasing these lines, so please don't spend too much time on them. Just to kind of put things into proportions and kind of get the general kind of overview of what we're going to be drawing. There we go. Now. On top of this one, we're going to be drawing another oval shape. This is going to be the head. So just follow what I'm doing here. And don't forget, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There is no shame in doing that. I do it all the time. There we go. Now we're going to be adding the eye, which is just a little circle here. And the beak. There we go. And then we're going to join up the head to the body. One line here, one line here. It's really taking shape now. I'm going to be drawing the leg, so you just draw a shape coming out like that from the side of this oval shape. Be drawing the foot, which comes out like this, up and round with three little prongs. Now we're going to be drawing the hole, the entrance to the cuckoo's nest. So they actually make these holes themselves. And also the green woodpecker, it prefers softer wood because its beak is slightly softer than the other woodpeckers. Okay. Takes about two to four weeks to excavate their nests um, in these trees. So it's a hard job for these woodpeckers. There we go. Okay, next we're going to be adding the wings and the tail. So just drawing a shape, comes down comes across and comes up. And then last but not least, the tail. So a curved line and then down. And then we're gonna join this line up to here. And that is it. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna carry on in pen, but please carry on in pencil. It's just so that you can see it. So I'm gonna start off with doing the beak, so nice long beak like this, just a straight line, and then a line going upwards, and then a line going downwards. That's all there is to it. Okay, I'm going to be drawing a curved line, goes round the beak area, just like that. Now we're going to be doing the head. So it's going to be the red part when we come to colouring it in. just like so. We're then going to draw the bottom here, so it's going to come inwards and then it's going to join the tummy, which comes all the way down. Some fluffy bits here. There we go. We're going to finish off the head, so we're going to draw one circle where we did it before. And then in the centre of the circle, another circle. There we go. Just going to add where the markings are going to go. So there's a little one underneath here. There's some markings around the eye. There we are. One above the eye as well. Just going to make this one come a little bit lower down. Now we're going to be doing the wings. So this is the back area. Coming down to there. We're then going to be drawing this part of the wing. So this one comes round. When it gets to about here, it goes inwards and inwards and inwards. And here we've got the longer feathers. And then we're 
gonna have the other feathers going over these from the other wing. There we go. Now for the lower half. So this part, just draw some feathery lines just coming around. And then we go downwards. Again, just kind of like these wispy lines just to show that there's kind of some soft down feathers. This one comes down. This area is going to be in white, so. Then we do the larger feathers down the bottom. Just one. Another one. Another one there. Just a few more. Another one there. Just one poking out from the other side. Okay, now for the foot, I'm just going to be drawing just some tufts of fur just here. Then for the actual little foot area, I'm just going to be drawing talons there. It's just hooking itself onto the tree bark there. Great! And then now we're just going to carry around this hole that it's pecked out. So green woodpeckers eat ants mainly and their larvae and their eggs and you usually see them on the lawn. We're really lucky where we live. Um, I see a green woodpecker, it comes to visit our lawn very, very often. And I love looking out the window and I just see it there eating its ants. So now I'm just drawing the tree. So if you haven't gone over it already in pen, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil marks. So these are all the colours that you're going to need. I've got a darker green, a lighter green, a red, a nice sunshine yellow, a yellow ochre colour, a dark brown and a black. So adding layer upon layer, I'm going to start off with this nice yellow ochre colour. I'm going to cover most of the drawing in this, but I'm going to speed it up. And there's our finished green woodpecker drawing. If you've enjoyed it, please hit subscribe and like, and I really hope to see you on the next one. Check out this next video, you're gonna love it.